and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to read another book with my mum called Once Upon a Small Rhinoceros by Meg McNally, illustrated by Ila Raj. Once there was a small rhinoceros who wanted to see the big world. Every day, boats sailed past on the nearby river. They brought smells and sights and sounds from faraway lands. And the small rhinoceros dreamed. Around her, the other rhinoceroses wallowed in the mud and bathed in the sun. They grazed on grass and they rubbed their horns against trees. They did all the things that rhinoceroses do. From the muddy river bank, the small rhinoceros watched the boats and sighed. Don't you wish, she said, that you could see the world? A mud wallowing rhinoceros snorted. But this is the world. We have mud and grass and trees. We have everything a rhinoceros could possibly need. Yes, said the small rhinoceros, we do. A grass grazing rhinoceros shook his head. You're a rhinoceros, you belong here. Yes, said the small rhinoceros, that's true. But still, she drained and the river flowed on and the boats passed by. Until one day, a tree scratching the rhinoceros frowned. You're a rhinoceros. You can't sail a boat. Yes, said the small rhinoceros. You're right. A sun bathing a rhinoceros rolled his eyes. You're a rhinoceros. You can't row or steer or read a map. Yes, said the small rhinoceros. I know. On the riverbank, all the mud wallowing, grass grazing, tree scratching, sun bathing rhinoceroses gathered in alarm. It's dangerous. You'll get lost. Come back. Perhaps, said the small rhinoceros, and she waved as she sailed around the bend of sight. Out of the ocean, out on the ocean, the water was deep, dazzling blue. Sea spray stung the air and foam fizzed on the tips of the waves. The small rhinoceros trailed a hoof into the water and tasted salt. As she start, started to stare dreamily down into the deep during the day, fish flashed beside the boat. Then they sunk out of sight. At night, stars floated on the ocean's dark surface. The small rhinoceros watched the water, let the waves rock her to sleep. And she sailed on through the woolly wild of winter and the smooth swept of summer but far away lands and beyond she saw mud and grass and trees she saw spectacular sights with surprising smells and sounds and more things than a rhinoceros would ever have imagined and when she had seen all the all she could see, she turned homeward and set her sail to catch the wind. The other rhinoceroses waiting just as she had left them, with their mud and grass and trees. She told them about the things she had seen and smelled and heard. Wasn't it strange? They asked. Yes, said the small rhinoceros. And scary? Sometimes. That's what we thought. They turned back to their mud and grass and trees. But then a soft voice spoke up. Did you get lost? Many times. And was it wonderful? Oh yes, said the smaller rhinoceros. It That's was. That's what I thought. Said the even smaller rhinoceros. And she dreamed. And I hope you enjoyed Once Upon a Small Rhinoceros. And I'll see you next time when I record my next book. Bye!